Hi everyone, Rhonda Robson with Rhonda's Tri Artistry and thank you for joining me today on my Fluid Art channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing the third of my triptych landscape flip cup technique. Remember, there's 15 flip cups in this entire project, five each canvas, and today I'm doing the last one. So today's video is a little bit different because I add in not only do I have the flip cups and the horizon in this, but I had to do um, how I was going to make my uh, some, somewhat of a, like a triangle with the beach, but it's like you're, you're following the beach up to the horizon. That was my intent. And then how did I get my waves and how did I mix the blue and the in the sand without it getting too muddy. Uh, that's all a part of this video. So I'm super excited about showing you about this one to wrap up the three that I've been doing, the triptych, landscape, sunrise, sunset. I'm super excited to finalize and finish this project and show you that. And in the next video, I'm gonna make sure that I have all three of them. If you're interested in how I took the colors, created the colors, decided on the colors, mixed the colors, layered the colors. Um, I'm going to put a little notification up here so that you can have that as well. And that'll be in another video. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today. Let's get you down on the canvas so you can see the third one of this Fluid Art 15 cup triptych landscape masterpiece. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye. Okay, so this is number three. And this number three one's gonna probably be as difficult as the first one was. And so each one of these I'll have a separate video so you can see the full length of it. And then I'll have the entire process including how I layered my cups and all that stuff. But uh, this one will be difficult because the reason why I have the this, yeah, I'm all ready all painted up, but that's okay. I'm going to put gloves on, keep it from underneath my fingernails. Uh, this is going to be sand and this is going to be the horizon. So I have to do the flip cups of all of these first, and then I'm going to have to figure out how to make the sand pretty straight. So yeah, I'm, it's going to be difficult, but I'm going to try it. I'd rather, really, I'd really like to have that there and then the horizon here. So, uh, anyway, okay. So I'm not going to do my sand yet. So here's the first cup there. Here's the middle or the second one. Then there's the middle. And then here is the aqua, which will be all of this area. So it's a little bit fuller than the other ones. So I think I'll put it here. So anyway, all right, so we're ready to flip. Let me make sure you're in focus. Everything's good. Yes, looks good. All right, let me shut my door in case it starts, the air the, starts going. All right, well, let's start with these ones since these ones have a little bit more empty space and they need to take a little bit more time to get down. So, um, so I'm going to just bring this along here. Help it move a little bit. Put my corner down here. Okay, and then I'm going to get my corners up here. I'm waiting for that. And then I forgot I don't have any paper towels down here, so I ran out with the last one. Okay, so we're going to flip this one first. Ooh, that's got more pink in it. Nice. And sometimes if you take a cross where it's like, um, got a lot of blue and not enough, like for me in particular, there was heart, that was a lot of blue right there. I wanted to get some of the pink from the bottom of my cup. So 
I did that. And we'll go this way with this one. Pink is getting hidden in that one again. Lots of pink there, holy cow. Let's move it down a little bit this way, back this way. Let's go ahead and go over there. Get that there. Let's go up and get that corner up over there. Okay, go back down. to that corner up there. What a fun pink. Some cool lacing going on. Bring this back down a little bit. Over. I'm going to try to start to get uh, my corners for just a little bit and then I'll get this all straightened up. but I think it's just the way that the um, the way it looks because of the um, the angle at least I'm hoping that's right Okay, let's take it back over this way now. And I'm gonna come over on that side so you can see.
Okay, so now I gotta do my horizon, which my horizon is the, this is way too high up here because my horizon is right here. So I'm gonna have to get some of my pinks and my purples down in this area over here. So let's start on this side. This has got a lot of oranges over here. I'm gonna wipe my knife off. I'm gonna use my bigger one here. And I'm just gonna, okay, you're not gonna be able to see. So I'm gonna move you over here so that you can see what I'm doing. You won't be able to see, well, okay, I'll back you up. I was gonna say, you won't be able to see the whole, but there you go. Okay, so I'm going to scoop some of this up and I'm going to put right here and then let it go down the side. So I've got some more pink and some more orange in there. Now I want to go ahead and get my Payne's Gray and make my um, uh, Horizon as well. So that's going to be right here. So I'll just let that go. Love these colors together. So pretty. So now I'm trying to make my horizon just a little bit smaller, thinner, if you will.
Now I'm trying to find green uh, to get this so that it kind of hides this orange right here. something in my paint. Let me get that really fast. And then <clears throat> I'd like to bring some pink up here. I'm not sure what's going on with my canvas right there. I have no silicone on it, but maybe I touched it or something, but let's get some pink. In this area. I'll come from this direction over here with some pink if I can find some. There's some. And I still don't know how I'm going to do this right here. So it's probably going to be a flip cup and then blowing with my straw to get it close to the blue. And then having some blue to blow into this area so it's not so straight. Yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, all right. Now let's move this. What time is it? 12.30. 12.30, I've been working on this all morning long. Okay, actually I want, I want something over here. Something's just not quite, I don't even want it to be. Let's get a big drip going there. Pink on top. Blue.
Okay. I think I'm good. I'm going to get this out from underneath here. Okay. So let me kind of pick up a little bit, get myself situated, make sure you're still on. Since I had to change over to my phone, got to be careful on that. Yep. All right. I think I'm going to stop it now and then I'll do that. Okay, so the only thing you've missed so far is me pulling off the tape. And uh, sorry about that, I should have uh, made sure you were on before I did that so you could see that. So let me kind of get you a little closer to that area to show you kind of what I'm planning on doing. So um, it's a calm day, but there's gonna be waves. Um, so. I'm gonna get my sand here, and then we're gonna figure something out in this area here, okay? All right, let me move this over here, get my sand. And my sand, I might just, I might just pour. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So that's why it's not too much. how I'm going to do it right there. Now, I'm gonna get my white, and with my white, I'm gonna do exactly what I just did, but along this edge here with my stick. Mm, I don't think I'm gonna do that. Just gonna get some of this off first. There's a chunk of something right here. a little bit better. Let's get some of that off of there. Okay, so now I'm going to take this And get some blue.
We know that beaches are not um, straight lines. They're still on? No. Straight lines. So we want to uh, let the weight of the paint move here to wherever it feels like it needs to go. So. Hopefully, I don't think you can see this, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. See how that's making it kind of more moving? That's what I'm looking for. So let's go back this way now. And then I gotta get some sand on this. I really hope these look good together. I spent a lot of time on these today. <laughs> I haven't even taken a shower this morning. I started thinking about it about three o'clock this morning and then I ended up get, going, forget it, just get up. So I got up around um, four, came down and started doing my mediums. And then by five o'clock I was actually um, doing colors. So yeah. And so I like how, see how the sand is kind of mixed in here a little bit? Um, I think I want some more uh, blue here, so I'll do something there. But uh, it's just, it's not, this is a really calm day, and, um, and it's not something that I want a lot of waves at. I just want the wave as it's hitting the shore to um, to get um, a little bit of, um, sorry, I'm trying to talk, but just to get a little bit of a wave there and some white on there. Not a bunch, but just a little bit, right?
think we're almost done. I think this was easier than the sun, but <laughs> I thought it was going to be harder. I think we're done. Um, I think there needs to be just a tad bit of white right here, right there. So, What do you think? I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. I think it's done. Love it. I'll show you the final results at the end. Thanks for watching and if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.